wondered why glass is transparent. Take a look outside your window. Put on your glasses if you wear one too. What do you see? Well, whatever it is, you do not see the layers of glass in front of you. It is amazing how something so solid can also be so invisible. To understand this, we have to first understand what glass is and where does it come from. It all starts in the Earth's crust, where the most important elements are silicon and oxygen. These react to form silicon dioxide, whose molecules also react to form a regular crystalline structure called quartz. This quartz is commonly found in sand, where it makes up most of the grains of sand. And it is also the important ingredient in glass. Of course, you would have noticed that, you know, glass is not made of tiny bits of quartz and for good reason. For one thing, the edges of the rigidly formed grains and smaller defects within the crystal, they reflect and disperse light that falls on them. So when quartz is heated to very high temperatures, the extra energy is absorbed by the molecules, it vibrates vigorously and breaks down, just like a free-flowing liquid. Like how ice melts to water, just like that this becomes a free-flowing liquid. But unlike water, this silicon dioxide is not able to reform into a crystal structure when it cools. Instead, as the molecules lose energy, they are less and less able to reform into the crystal structure. So the result is an amorphous solid. Amorphous solid is a solid material with the chaotic structure of a liquid, which easily allows the molecules to move in, you know, however they want and fill into any gaps. So this is why microscopically uh, glass has a very uniform surface which allows it to pass light through it without scattering it in different directions. But this still doesn't explain why light is able to pass through glass while not being absorbed into it like in most other solids. For this we need to go into the subatomic level. Now we know that an atom consists of a nucleus with electrons revolving around it. But you'll be surprised to know that it's mostly empty space. So if you consider a sports stadium, if you think that a sports stadium is like an atom, then the nucleus is like a pea in the center of the stadium and the electrons are like the grains of sand in the seats. Now that should leave plenty of space for the light to pass through without hitting any of these particles. So the real question is not why glass is transparent, but why aren't the other solids transparent like glass? So this has to do with the energy levels that the electrons in an atom can have. Imagine these energy levels are like the rows of seats in a stadium. Initially, an electron is assigned to a particular row, but if it wants to go to the next row, it needs to absorb just that amount of energy. As luck can have it, light photons have that amount of energy which an electron can use to jump to the next row. But there's a catch. The energy from the photon has to be of the right amount to get the electron from one row to another row. Otherwise, the, the photon would just be allowed to pass through. And it just so happens that in glass, these rows are so far apart that photons of visible light aren't able to give them enough energy to move between these rows. Hence, all of the photons are allowed to pass through and glass is transparent. Thank you.